I want to thank my friend for the inspiring messages and posts that prompt me into introspection and discover my internal world. I love to analyze my inner world. So, this last post um, said, this earth is not my home. I remember espousing that point of view and feeling for most of my life. It was comforting um, because in all of my trauma I wasn't able to make this earth my home because everything in this earth was adversarial to me. Everything in this earth was causing me pain. So I would comfort myself with saying such as this, this earth is not my home. Right? It's a form of dissociation, of self-soothing through the trauma that we have experienced on this earth. We, we, we can't call it our home because it does not represent that home feeling for us. All we get from it is feelings of pain. But is the earth at fault for that? Is nature at fault for that? In the meantime, I have come to terms with my trauma. I've come to terms with other people's trauma and gained the knowledge of what creates this pain cycle. Does that mean I have to abandon Earth as my home? Does that mean I have to abandon my humanity as my home? You see, the only reality, the only present reality, is the one in this body. And this body is Earth. To say Earth is not my home is to say this body is not my home. This is more deep psychological dissociation because of the shadows. What if the present reality is the only home there is? Trauma prevents us from being present, being at home in the presence. So. Usually, like when I was a Christian, I would always dream of the rapture, of Jesus coming and fetching us away out of this wretched place called Earth. But again, why? Because I was such a wounded soul. So I was future tripping all the time, not grateful, not present in the now, in the moment, in what is, but ejecting and projecting myself into another world, into a fantasy world, just something else, another reality that would get me out of this painful reality. Yes, I am very analytical and it's the analytical that helps me ground because I cannot escape this reality I have to make friend with this reality so I have to figure out how to best make friends with this world with this earth with this present home I'm occupying. And that
came about by changing my point of view. Instead of saying this earth is not my home, I had to espouse the point of view that this earth is my home right now. And I need to be at home here right now to be any earthly good, to be good for myself. Right? So, yeah. Again, thank you for the inspiration. Thank you for allowing me to pursue a different point of view and to recognize my own tendencies of wanting to future trip to escape the present, current home. My body currently is my home, so I'm going to make the best of it. I'm going to beautify it as best as I can. <laughs>